Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine. This has been my go-to foundation routine since summer of last year. I've used the same foundation and I decided I better do a video on this because I kind of want to try some other foundations but this has been my go-to number one. So I kind of wanted to do a video on it today. So please keep watching if you want to see how I do my foundation every day. The foundation that I use is the Revlon Color Stay, and I am in the color Nude. So yeah, if you want to see how I use this and yeah, how I get my skin looking like it is. Even though today I really don't feel like it's the best day to be doing a foundation routine because I am having like a little bit of breakouts. But Anyways, you can see the coverage and all that of this. I love this foundation. I know everyone on YouTube raves about, raves about it, so I am not the only one. But yeah, just keep watching if you want to find out how I do my foundation. Okay, so first off, this is me out of the shower with no makeup on, and I'm just going to pin my bangs back before I start. So starting off with the foundation that I'm using, which is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. I just like to put some on my fingers and tap it all over my face where I'm going to be applying it. And then I just like to use my two fingers and rub that all in. And I'm pretty sure my neighbor is watching me do this at this point, but yeah, just gonna keep rubbing until it's all blend in. And yeah, does anyone else like to listen to music when they do their makeup? Because I do, and I like to dance too, apparently. So next I'm using my Instant Age Rewind Dark Eye Circle Concealer, and I like to just use this under my eyes and on top of my eyelids just to get rid of all that redness. And again, I like to use my fingers to just tap it in and blend it all into my skin. This next concealer I have been loving. It is my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in Light. I like to use this under my eyes to highlight my face and I also find that it is great for covering up any bad boys that you don't want to be showing or any redness. It just works perfectly and then again my favorite tool is my finger and I just like to use my finger to gently blend that into my face. And yeah, wow, I'm using a lot of Revlon products. So the next is my Revlon Color Stay Powder. I believe this is in medium light. I don't know, I don't have it in front of me. But I like to use the big fluffy brush and just put this all over my face. It is going to help me stay matte all day and control all the oils that because my skin is pretty oily, especially in the summertime. Now this is my favorite drugstore bronzer and it is the Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. I like to contour my face with this. I start at the top of my ear and make that fishy face and fill in the hollows of my cheeks. I also like to use this on my forehead. I have a bigger forehead, so I use this in the top two corners of my forehead to kind of slim it down and underneath my chin and into my neck to kind of give me a slimmer face. The blush I'm using today is by e.l.f. in Twinkle Pink. It doesn't have to be this blush. This is just the one I'm using right now. I like to place this just over top of my contour on the apples of my cheeks and blending upwards into my temples to kind of give me a nice rosy glow. 
Now this is my favorite drugstore highlight. It is by Hard Candy and it's called Tiki. It really reminds me to the MAC Soft and Gentle. I like to put this on the high places on my cheeks, on my cheekbone, and I also like to put this down my nose and also on top of my cupid's bow to kind of give me that pouty lip look. So yeah, that is the end of my foundation routine. This is what it looks like after. Of course, if you're not having a breakout, it's going to look a lot better, but I love the way it makes my skin look. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.